everyone and welcome. I am Miss Jamie, one of the program facilitator at Malvern Family Resource Center. Let's start off with our welcome song to welcome everyone. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you today? Welcome and let's start program now. Hi boys and girls, I'm so excited for program today because I have a very fun story and a fun craft to do with you. Well, today the story, it's about a duck or maybe it's about a rabbit. <gasps> Did you want to find out what it is? Well, let's go and find out. Today we have a story called Duck Rabbit. Duck Rabbit by Amy Cross Rosenthal and Tom Littenhill. Duck Rabbit. Hey, look, a duck. That's not a duck. That's a rabbit. Are you kidding me? It's totally a duck. It's for sure a rabbit. Now friends, do you see a rabbit or do you see a duck? See, there's his bill. So this could be the bill, right? Or the beak. What are you talking about, silly? Those are ears. So some might think these are ears to the rabbit. It's a duck and he's about to eat a piece of bread. Yup, so here's the bread. Does it look like the duck is opening his beak and trying to uh, take a bite out of this bread? It's a rabbit and he's about to eat a carrot. Mm -hmm, and here is the carrot. It seems like the rabbit is about to be eating the carrot. Wait, listen, did you hear that? Shh. I heard duck sounds, quack. That's funny. I distinctly heard rabbit sounds. Look, now the duck is wading through the swamp. Does it look like the duck is wading? It looks like it might be swimming in the pond, right? No, the rabbit, it's hiding in the grass. There, see, it's flying. Does this look like the duck is flying? <laughs> flying? No, it's hopping. Or maybe it looks like the bunny, it's hopping. <laughs> no, the rabbit, it's hot. He's cooling off his ears. Yes, yeah, so look, there's the hot, hot sun. So maybe that's why the rabbit is cooling off his ears. Look, the duck is hot. He's getting a drink. Or it could be the duck. It's putting his bills inside uh, this water here to get a drink. Here, look at the duck through my binoculars. Sorry. Still a rabbit. Does this help, friends? Do you think it's a rabbit or do you think it's a duck? Here, here, ducky, ducky. Here, you cute little rabbit. Oh, great. You scared him away. I didn't scare him away. You scared him away. You know, maybe you were right. Maybe it was a rabbit. Thing is, now I'm actually thinking it was a duck. Well, anyway, now what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Hey, look, an anteater. That's no anteater. That's a brachiosaurus. Friends, now that is the end of our book. Hope you enjoyed it. What did you think? Did you see the duck or did you see the rabbits? And at the end, uh, did you see an anteater or did you see the brachiosaurus? <laughs> well, doesn't matter which way you look at, 
It could be either one of them. Friends, did you see a duck or did you see a rabbit in the picture? The answer is, it could be either one of them, depending on which way you look at it. At first, Miss Jamie saw a duck, and then slowly, I saw the rabbit. It's quite interesting, right? Did you know the duck and the rabbit could actually be friends? They both live at the pond together with their other animal friends as well. And here is the song, The Animals at the Pond. Ta-da! Here is the pond. Here are some uh, beautiful flowers everywhere with lots of colors. And then we have some petals over here. Very nice, right? Do you know who lives at the pond again? Well, here is the rabbit. Let's put rabbit over here. And you know what the rabbit likes to do? The rabbit likes to hop, hop, hop. The rabbit at the pond goes hop, 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 hop. Hop, 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 the rabbit at the pond goes hop, 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 hop. Great job. And then there is the little duck, right? Here is the duck. Let's put the duck over here underneath the rabbit so they can be together. And do you know what the little duck says? The little duck says quack, quack. <laughs> Can you say that with me? Quack, 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 quack. The little duck at the pond says quack, 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 quack. The little duck at the pond says quack, 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 quack. <laughs> Very cute. I love it. And here we have, what is this, friends? This is the Little froggy, and you know what the froggy likes to eat? They like to eat yum, yummy bugs, and they say, rabbit, 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 just like that. Let's put our friend, um, the little froggy over here, down over here. Yep, this is the little froggy, and he likes to say, rabbit, rabbit. The froggy at the pond says, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. The froggy at the pond says, ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> and here we have, ooh, what is this one? Swimming, swimming at the pond. This is the little goldfish. Let's put the goldfish in the middle. And do you know what he likes to do? <laughs> he likes to go underwater and he says bloop, 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 <laughs> Very funny, right? Can you try to say that with Miss Jamie? Bloop, 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 bloop. The goldfish at the pond say bloop, 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 bloop. The goldfish at the pond says bloop, 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 bloop. And then we also have the otter. This one is the otter. Nice. Let's put the otter down here. And he likes to swim at the pond. Yep, he floats and swim and have fun at the pond with his friends here. The otter at the pond goes swim, 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 swim. Swim, 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 the otter at the pond goes swim, 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 swim. And lastly, we have the beautiful butterfly. And do you know what the butterfly likes to do? The beautiful butterfly over here likes to go fly, fly. Can you show me how you fly? Fly with your wings. That's right. The butterfly at the pond goes fly, 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 fly. The butterfly at the pond goes fly, 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 fly. Yep, boys and girls, do you still remember animal friends here? This is the rabbit. Rabbit.
it lives at the pond. We have a little duck here. This is Froggy that says rabbit, rabbit, and likes to eat yummy bugs. Here is the goldfish. Let's say bloop, 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 bloop. We have the otter here. And lastly, this is the butterfly, the beautiful butterfly that flies in the sky. Did you know the duckies like to go out to play? Not just at their pond, but they like to go out to meet new friends. Do you like to go outside and play as well? Well, here are five little duckies. Can you show Miss Jamie your five fingers, please? For the five little duckies. Well, let's count our fingers together. One, two, three, four, and five. Five fingers for the five little duckies. Five little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck sang quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. Four fingers. Can you show Miss Jamie four fingers? One, two, three, four. Yes, four fingers for the four little duckies. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck say quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. Three fingers over here. One, two, three. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama ducks say quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks are back. One, two. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama ducks say quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. Only one is back. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama ducks say quack, 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 but no little ducks came back. No little ducks came back. And that is zero. Zero is the number for no more. That's right. No little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama ducks say quack, 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 quack. Guess what happened? All five little ducks came back. Can you show me five little ducks? Yes, let's count together to make sure all five little ducks came back. One, two, three, four, five. All five of them came back. Yay, good job, friends. Boys and girls, did you enjoy that story with the duck and the rabbit? I thought it was very funny. It was actually an optical illusion. Well, today we are going to make our very own optical illusion for craft. And this is called a thermo trip. You will need a bowl or something circular for drawing it out. Uh, you'll need a piece of paper, machine pink white. And once again, you can pick any color you like, but I think white works better today. Well, you need a pen or a pencil for drawing on. And then Miss Jamie chose a pencil. This is a new pencil. Uh, you can also find something that is round and circular like this. Maybe a chopstick or anything that is long and uh, circular like this that we can roll with. And you'll need some scissors for cutting. Uh, we need some markers or crayons for coloring. And lastly, you'll need some tape or some glue for putting the pieces together. Our first step is to take the bowl, put it upside down like this, and draw out two circles. 
hold on to the top to make sure the bowl or the cup it's not going to move. So here is our first circle. Uh, let Miss Jamie show it to you first. Yep, here's the first one. And we're going to draw the second one right next to it. So same thing, hold on to the top and then hold your pencil or marker in the other hand and trace out uh, the shape. Try to push along against uh, your container or your shape over here to make sure you're following all the way around and you're not moving in and out of the shape. So now we have two circles here ready. Up next, we are going to take the scissors and carefully cut out the two circles. Now, boys and girls, please be careful when you're cutting this out. Uh, please don't hurt yourself. Don't cut your fingers. If you need help, it's okay. Ask a parent to help you. And uh, friends, you can uh, maybe just help along with cutting some parts. And I'm sure your parents or an adult will uh, be more than happy to guide you along. Here is our first circle, all done. I'm going to place it over here and we're gonna use it in a little bit. Now here comes the second circle. Try your best to follow the lines, uh, following the lines over here and making sure you're cutting out uh, the circle here. And parents, please remember to give lots of encouragement to our boys and girls. Uh, this will only encourage them to do more practice and with more practice, they will be sure to um, gain more experience or be able to cut better. All done, I'm going to put my scrap paper over here. We can recycle it or use it for something else afterwards. And here are our two circles, all done. Now that we have our two circles here ready, we can start with the smiley face or you can start with coloring one side of the circle. So one side of the circle, uh, Miss Jamie's going to color it in with yellow. And once again, of course, you can use any color you like. I picked yellow because uh, Miss Jamie wanted to make a yellow emoji. And you know what? There are lots of different color emojis out there. So you can choose any color you like. And I'm sure some of my boys and girls are going to do a rainbow color because I know some of you love the color rainbow. But how about you, friend? Are you going to make a pink one or a blue one? Oh, how about an orange one? That would be cool as well. So make sure when you're coloring to fill in every single spot. Make sure you don't see any white spot inside. And parents, this is good practice for the fine motor skills. And this is where you can let your children just scribble all around uh, and color in whichever way they like. Friends, here is a challenge for you. Can you try to color within the circle? Try not to go out of the circle. Try not to color onto the table. See if you can do that. It takes a lot of control to do that. So if you can, good job for you. And if you can't, it's okay. Keep trying. I'm sure you'll be able to do it soon. Miss Jamie is more than halfway there. Let's see, let's keep coloring. Almost done. Just one last little bit. And if you wanted to use uh, a crayon or color pencil instead of a marker, yep, of course you're allowed to do that. It will add different styles to your uh, smiley face over here. Yep, Miss Jamie's also trying her best not to color outside of the lines, but at the same time trying to fill every white spot. Friends, what do you think? Pretty close, right? 
a little bit of white spots here and there. I will try to fill them in. What do you think now? Pretty good, right? Okay, good job. So now I'm gonna put my yellow marker away. And we're going to use a black marker and draw the face on for the other side. What kind of face do you want? Do you want a sad face, a smiley face, a face that is laughing, uh, or a face that's feeling scared, <laughs> or maybe a sleepy face? Lots of different faces you can think of. Oh, I know, Miss Jamie wanted to draw a happy face with big, bright eyes. <laughs> See, two eyes over here and a big smile. Ta-da! Do you like my smiley face? Very cute, right? Yep, and then up next, what we are going to do is to take out your pencil or a chopstick or anything that is long and uh, run like this because we are going to roll like this afterwards. So let's flip them over. We're going to take some tape or glue. Let's take one piece of tape, put it in the center over here, and let's tape this down. And then Ms. Jamie's going to take one more piece of tape to make sure that it's going to stay, uh, stay down securely like this. Yep, two pieces should be good. So this is what it looks like right now. <laughs> looks pretty cute. And then we're going to stick the other piece uh, on top like this. So this time, Miss Jamie is going to roll the tape into a double-sided tape like this. If you need help with rolling the tape into a double-sided tape, ask your parents to help you. So this is how Miss Jamie did it. Like this. And I'm going to roll this in and stick the ends together like this. And now we have double-sided tape that's sticky on this side and sticky on this side as well. <laughs> Put this over here. Let's make two more double-sided tape. One over here. And let's put one more on the bottom. Bottom over here. Okay, there we go. Now take your circle and carefully line up the edges. And we're going to stick it on top. Stick. Yep, just like this. Push, push, push. Make sure it's gonna stay. Hold it down for five seconds, okay? One, two, three, four, five. All done. Ta-da! Here it is. Hi, so we have the thumb trip done. Are you ready to see it? We have a white smiley face on one side and then a yellow circle on the other side. Let's see what happens when we roll them. You ready? Here we go. Do you see it? What do you see? Miss Jamie sees a yellow smiley face. Do you see it? Wow, this is really cool. Should I show it to you one more time? Let's try it. Here we go. Oh, here it is again, the yellow smiley face. Yep, so this is called the Thoma Trip, and it's an optical illusion. So we're back to doing craft the Thoma Trip again because Miss Jamie has so much fun making the first one. I have decided to make one more. <laughs> and this time I'm going to be doing a different design. So same thing, uh, Miss Jamie has already cut out 
two pieces uh, of the circle here. And then once again, we'll need a pencil or something long and round for us to roll. Uh, this time I have more colors over here. Do you recognize these colors? We have blue. Uh, this is brown. Oh, does this look like brown? Let me bring it closer to you. Let's see. Yeah, can you see it? So this is brown. We have green over here. Uh, Miss Jamie also has red and yellow. That's right. Oh, and I also have black over here. Lots of colors this time. Uh, this time Miss Jamie wanted to make a butterfly. Who likes butterflies here? <laughs> yep, so Miss Jamie likes butterflies. I'm going to be making um, a drawing of the butterfly. Let's see, which, uh, which color should I pick? Miss Jamie is going to pick blue. I'm going to be drawing a blue butterfly. <laughs> Who likes blue as well? Blue is one of my favorite colors. So here I'm going to draw the wings over here for my butterfly. And then I need the body in the middle. Let's color it in. Here we go. Let me show you my butterfly. Can you see it? Is it cute? Do you like my butterfly too? <laughs> Does it look like it's flying? It'll look even more cool in a little bit. Um, Miss Jamie's going to color it in with blue. I am carefully coloring, uh, making sure I don't go out of the lines. So here we have uh, one wing that's done. And let's do the second one. Yep, this takes lots of control to make sure we're not going all of the lines. <gasps> Yay! And now I have filled the butterfly with blue. Do you like it? I think it's so beautiful. Um. Oh, let's add some dots maybe a little bit of dots here and there we'll brighten it up did you like the dots i've added to my butterfly does it look like it's flying in the sky uh, up next on the other circle miss jamie is going to draw some flowers this time i'm going to pick red for my flowers Let's add some petals on my flower here. And let's color it in. Did you like my red flower? Is it nice? How about a yellow flower this time? What do you think of my yellow flower? Did you like it? Um, uh, she it likes red. Let's add one more red flower in. Here is my flower with four petals. And once again, let's color it in. Here are my flowers. How many flowers do you see? Let's count with me. We have one, two, three, three flowers over here. Oh, we need a stamp, some stamps for the flowers. And maybe a little bit of grass will be nice. Some grass on the bottom here. And maybe some leaves too. Some leaves on my flowers. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, I think that might be a enough grass and leaves. So this is what uh, my garden looks like with three little flowers and some grass all over it. Up next, we are going to put these two circles together. I can't wait to see them as one. It's going to look very cool, just like a smiley face. So same thing, we're going to turn these two circles over and place our pencil in the middle. Let's take some tape. And we're gonna tape this on. One more piece of tape to secure it. And do you remember how to make the double-sided tape? Take a piece of tape, fold this in, and fold the other ends in to make them stick. Now we have a piece of double-sided tape, sticky on top and sticky on the bottom. <laughs> Let's put one on top like this. We're going to put one over here on this side. And other one on this side. And lastly, we're going to put one on the bottom. One over here on the bottom. There we go. Okay, you ready? Let's turn this one over and we're going to carefully stick it on. Oh, maybe a little tilt like this so it looks like the butterfly is flying that way. Make sure you line up the, uh, the sides and the edges. Stick it on, push, push, push. Make sure it's sticking on. And once again, let's hold it down for five seconds, okay? One, two, three, four, five. All done. So this is what it looks like on this side. And this is what it looks like on the other side. Can't wait to try it out. Boys and girls, are you ready to try a new summer trip? I can't wait to see how this looks like. So we have some flowers on one side and a blue butterfly on the other side. Are you ready? Let's see what happens. Oh, do you see the blue butterfly flying over the flowers? It looks so cool. I love it. What kind of design did you make? I can't wait to see yours. Oh, you know what? Let's see this one, the smiley face one more time. Let's see it again. You see the yellow smiley face? <laughs> so fun. And here is the blue butterfly again. Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> Friends, if you have any craft that you have made, please don't forget you can always send it to Miss Jamie. I love seeing what you have done. It's time to say goodbye. So let's take out our microphone and sing a bye-bye song together. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. Thank you for joining us today. I had so much fun with you. Feel free to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos. Hope to see you soon again. Bye bye.